Well, you guys have been centralized uh, in Calgary, as you said, since the summer. You got married this summer, am, am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got married in July. I always joke my honeymoon was moving to Calgary without him. The scooter tries to wrap it around, and she scores. So much chatter going on. When you look at the, the men's hockey team, it's all about, you know, will the NHLers go? Uh, what impact will COVID have on everything? What is the discussion like for the women's hockey team? I think our focus has been um, very internal at the moment, especially because we're all really fighting for a position on this team still. So um, we've kind of tried to kind of just drown out um, all of that and really just focus on our process and how we're going to be the best team possible come February. I've got to ask, though, there's so much about what the COVID protocols could be, anywhere from, you know, three to five weeks of, of quarantine if somebody tests positive. I mean, what is your take on that? It has to be in your mind. For sure. I think the the one part that gives me confidence is just how well our group has done. Obviously, we've had to you know follow some pretty strict protocols starting at the World Championships and uh, playing in a bubble there. But you know, having the success that we did, and now even training as a team in Calgary and we're in the states right now, the travel that we've had to do. But um, everyone is really buying in, and I feel that probably at the Olympics, the protocols may be even stricter. Um, we don't know yet, but once we find out, I'm sure that you know the team has already bought in and we've had success with it so far. We haven't had any positive cases. Well, it's been wonderful to see more of a spotlight on the women's game. And we just saw recently EA Sports announcing that women's hockey players will be on NHL 22. How cool is that? You're gonna be in a video game. It's so cool. I mean, I couldn't believe it. Um, I think that this is just huge for the women's game, huge for young girls, huge for really anyone who loves to play the game that now can see themselves in the game. Um, I mean, first of all, I was so excited that I could maybe play as myself, but um, <laughs> to be able to play as other people too, I think will be so fun. I didn't have that growing up, you know, playing against my brothers if I could have, you know, played as a female. Um, so it, it's, it's crazy, it's super fun, and I can't wait to see all the little girls, you know, playing, you know, as, as their idols. You're a hockey player, you're a broadcaster, you've been a contestant on The Amazing Race Canada, you took up figure skating to be on Battle of the Blades. I mean, you just seem to be fearless. What is it about you that just always wants to try that next thing? Uh, I think it's really just getting out of my comfort zone. I think um, I love a new challenge and I think it's really the feeling at the end of it and the feeling of, you know, knowing that I did something, I maybe sucked at the beginning, but I tried so hard and that you accomplished something in the end. So. Um, yeah, I think it's just putting yourself out there and I, I have fun with everything I do. Whatever it is, I'm going to be laughing and probably smiling. Maybe not being great at it, but um, I'm going to have a huge smile on my face. So if it, if it goes well or if it doesn't, at least I had fun. Well, you are certainly inspiring the next generation of, of young girls who, who look to you and want to play hockey for Team Canada. Who inspired you when you were that young girl growing up? Yeah, I mean, it, it was tough because I, there wasn't, you know, that much accessibility to, you know, women's hockey. And I had three older brothers and I wanted to be just like them. But it was when I was 11 years old, I got to go, you know, to my first all-female hockey school. And that's where I got to meet Jennifer Botterill, who, you know, we all know very well. And um, I got, I still have the picture. I got to take a picture with her and her gold medal. And that was the first time where it really clicked in my mind that, you know, I could be like her and, and she was like me. And um, if I worked hard enough, I could go win a gold medal just like her.